And as earlier, you were talking about uh, high availability clustering. Can you uh, go a bit deeper and explain how high availability clustering works and why it is kind of game changer for organizations who do want near zero downtime during patching? So fundamentally, in a high availability clustering environment, such as a SIOS LifeKeeper environment, essentially you run your application on uh, an individual node. Uh, it could be an um, on-premises traditional server. That node might be in a virtual environment. It could be in the cloud. Uh, you pair that with a secondary node that's uh, usually in a passive uh, state and you run your critical uh, application on this node with clustering software that's aware of both nodes. The clustering software monitors the health of the entire environment. And if there is an incident that causes the application to stop working properly, it automatically moves operation to that secondary node uh, where it continues automatically and with as little impact as possible to the end user. For patch management purposes, one can apply the patches to that secondary node and test it very thoroughly in an environment that's modeling the, the production um, environment. And then in a rolling maintenance uh, technique, you can then fail over to the, the, from the primary node to the secondary node, patch the primary node, and you're in business. If your testing reveals a problem of some kind, you haven't interfered with production and you have the luxury of rolling back to a last known good environment and taking your time with the um, you know, troubleshooting as needed. And so you relieve everyone of a lot of different problems through this process. The testing can be done uh, quickly and efficiently without a uh, production uh, interruption. And you also are able to do that failover process, alleviating the need for full restart um, or really lengthy downtime, scheduled maintenance downtime.